The I team is learning new details about the tree service involved in a tragic accident yesterday during which a man died. According to News for Jack's records, this was the third serious incident involving Shaw's tree service in the last four years. Yeah, and we've learned that the company has faced fines from OSHA. News for Jack's I team investigator Tark Miner takes a look at the past violations. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says a man between 35 and 45 years old got trapped beneath a stump grinder and died from his injuries at a home where Shaw's tree service was working. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration is now investigating. Two years ago, in June of 2019, the company was involved in an incident in northwest Jacksonville. He came down pretty hard, just like somebody shot him out the tree. That's homeowner Duncan Johnson, who took this picture of a Shaw Tree Service employee moments before he fell an estimated 50 feet to the ground and was taken to the hospital. OSHA records don't reveal any violations or fines related to this incident. In 2017, our cameras were there after a 20-year-old Shaw Tree Service employee driving a bucket truck was shocked by power lines when an arm holding the bucket came in contact with an electrical line. The employee who was in the bucket saw the fire that started and jumped out, but the worker driving the truck had just stepped out to get a drink. And because he was touching the truck, he was shocked and suffered burns. The I team found that OSHA cited Shaw's tree service for two violations related to working around power lines. They were originally fined $10,140 but an informal settlement resulted in the fine being reduced to $6,084. The I-Team searched OSHA records going back 20 years and also found a 2011 inspection that resulted in violations. Two of the violations involved the use of operation of an aerial lift and the other violation involved eye or face protection. The company was fined $5,610, but following a settlement, the penalty was reduced to $3,366. Today at Shaw's Tree Service off Beaver Street, company officials declined to comment about the death of one of their workers. Shaw's Tree Service is a locally owned and operated company, which according to their website, employs certified arborists, professional climbers, and experienced tree professionals. OSHA is working to create new standards for tree care operations to protect workers who prune, repair, maintain, or remove trees because of the high rate of injuries and deaths among workers in the industry. I'm Tarek Miner for the I-Team.